All right, here we are. So we're gonna make a new stencil today out of the raw leather, also known as the raw veg tan leather. We use three coats of this leather top coat with 24 hours of dry time between each coat. It's now been 72 hours after the last coat. And we're gonna try out the stencil stuff today for the prep of the leather for the stencil. We're gonna try letting it dry between coats and at least two, maybe three coats. We'll just see how it, how sticky it is. This will be interesting because this is a different one. We've been using the one that has more aloe in it. This is the Electrum, which actually did work well for the leather, but we're gonna try this out. See if it's different. Been working on this new stencil here. It's got a lot of line work. I thought it'd be good for the leather since it doesn't require a whole lot of gray shading. It's mostly illustrative. Okay, let's do it. Start doing this part. Last time we tried the single coat of the top coat, so we'll see today if it works better with multiple coats. Towards the end of the tattoo, I felt like I was tattooing more of the leather than it started shredding a bit. So we're using the Electrum Green Gold Stencil Primer again. We got better results with that, we thought, and it's meant to go with the ink. See, it spread, did you see that? Oh man. Oh, well, no, the whole thing's fucked. Look how wet it was. So that was just too wet. Fixing the stains or hair dying out. I'm just gonna be myself and be weird. Try not to throw too many F bombs in front of the children. And we'll see what else I can fix. Changing out to a longer cam because the leather is so tough to tattoo that you want something that hits it pretty hard. Uh, and it's especially hard since we bleached it a bunch of times trying to get the stencil on right. But I think that it, it will work out with the four millimeter cam on here that should drive the needles in nice and hard and not have them bouncing back too much. Yeah, it's real rough, so basically if you screw up the stencil, that's kind of it for leather work. It sticks real fast and it doesn't work that well. Oh yeah, we, I learned not that long ago that there is a liner black and a, a shader black. You wanna get a triple black in whatever brand you like. To do that, we have the dynamic here. All right, so we have the 4.0 cam on now. So maybe better for this harder surface. I'm kind of salvaging this piece, so. May not work out today with this, but we're using the black and gold needle and tube setup. It's that car nice carbon fiber. Just want to see if I can even use a mag on the leather at all. A little sample piece here. Gonna try out this Bug Pin 9 Mag Shader from Kingpin with that black and gold. 
So loosening the tension band seemed to help me get that needle on better. So learning new things as I go here. Looks like it works. Do you think I'll be bad at it? Do you think I'll serrate a motherfucker? All right, so I'm gonna line this thing with the, the three, extra tight three round liner from Kingpin. I got the outline done. I just wanted to get a quick outline in there. Did a bunch of quick light lines for the inside here just to get the stencil wiped off. And I can still see quite a bit of the stencil and made a few mistakes, but that's okay. It's really hard to tattoo leather. And this leather is not even smooth anymore because we bleached it. It's definitely tricky, but I think it'll be a good, good training for real skin.
this is the lightest wash I have and it still is like almost black when I do it because it's, it's, everything's just so dark on here. Super dark. A lot of this, the stuff in here is all the lightest wash I could do. Seems like it's working though, I'm trying to make a wood grain. There's this one dark band here and that's supposed to be like that. I just put more shadows on the side of it to balance it out a little bit. Just revisiting the mystifying oracle. There she is. Trying to make her look like wood. We have some nice wood grain going in different directions here. Just doing all final touches on the wording here. Uh, the last time I was working with it, it just got way too wet and I wanted to let it dry to see how the ink was getting in there. And it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Just gonna do some touches. It takes a lot of steps to be a good tattoo artist, not just even being good at doing these stencils because you have all the time in the world to get the shading and everything right, you know, and to work it into the surface as much as possible and, and as much as you desire. And on a human, you can't be taken forever. You gotta plan it in a couple sessions if you're gonna do that. I think for like the high realism stuff, they expect to come back usually. It's hard to get it all done. And even then you want to see how the gray is going to heal so you can come back in and like add the deep darks again and just make it pop. It's like a painting. It's not a one step, you're in, you're out, you're done type ordeal if you want realism. Even just normal tattoos, you need to come back for touch up. so. Yeah, I mean like in a way, it, people don't think about that when they're getting a variety of tattoos from different people. I sure didn't, I was like, it's fine. I'll just, you know, try someone else. I don't wanna go back to that person. <laughs> but then you need touch ups and you're like, oh shit, I gotta actually like, find that guy. And then he's a dick. You know who you are. No, it's fine. No, like who who wants to work on an old ass piece like just like, walks in out of nowhere and it's like, hey, remember me? <laughs> Back for touch up. Fifteen years later, here I am. Certainly, leather can take a beating. This little tiny eight gauge bug pin needle. So teeny tiny. On the surface of this thing. This is my magnification. 3X, people. Three times the normal vision. <laughs> Do you want to see it? Coming in hot. <laughs> Boom. Did you see the regular vision? You have to look at the, yeah, there you go. That's normal vision and 3X vision. Okay, that was extreme. Ooh, looking good. Looking very woody. Okay, bye.
and the lid. Just could go on and on with the details in the lid here, so I'm gonna have to cut myself off. I don't want it to get too dense with the ink. It looks neat in the right spots, I think. I'm gonna touch right there. <laughs> Man, I think one of the hardest parts is gonna be about tattooing is gonna be watching your canvas just walk away too and you don't get to really enjoy other than the picture you took of it, right? <laughs> Bye! Here's all the hard work and see you later! I left it a little rough in the inside the lettering. I didn't clean it up entirely. Because I, I thought the little gaps in the less black area looked cool. Bye!